hello guys welcome back to photographics academy all right so today we're going to be retouching this image live here in photoshop so i'm going to show you step-by-step -step guide on how i will retouch this picture if i am the one retouching it so we're going to be starting from blemish removal of frequency separation and all of that and the beautiful part is that the action panel we're going to be using in this video you will be getting for free just by performing a simple task very simple task yeah you'll be getting it official i'm going to tell you about the task in the course of the video but for now let's get started so the first thing i need to do is to remove the blemishes and to do that of course we need to create a check layer to be able to see exactly what we're doing so i'm going to create a black and white address mainly one right above here i bring down my regs so that the blemishes can stand out then I will make a duplicate of my background, pick up my past story, and start fixing some of those blemishes. Alright, so we are done with our blemishes. This is a before. This is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So I'm going to match this up together and quickly get down straight to my skin with touches. So the next thing we are going to be doing is our frequency separation, very important. So I'm going to load up my action. This is my frequency separation action. I'm going to press play. So because of the resolution of the image and because I want some smoothness on the image I see within some textures, I'm going to be keeping it at somewhere around five so that what I'm doing will be affecting the image and I will still not lose my textures. Yeah, because if I go higher than that, I may not be able to be seeing what I'm doing, although it will be affecting it, but very, very minimal. When I pick up my mixer brush, I will paint it on my low frequency copy. I can decide to create an empty layer and paint on that, but for this tutorial, we're going to be painting on low frequency copy. So I'm going to quickly start painting over the image so you understand the rule of frequency separation but in case you do not the rule of frequency separation is that you should not paint your highlight into your shadow neither should you paint your shadow into your highlight if going to distort your image only except you need to intentionally do it for example if you do not like the lip the the cheek line over here if you don't like it you can decide to use your frequency separation I just remove it by just you know smudging over it like that and it's gone yeah so only on those kind of occasions are you permitted to break the rule so let's get started so first of all i'm going to paint it to this highlight you can as well turn off your high frequency to see exactly what you are doing and be able to know when it's smooth so i'll start with this highlight over here So we can decide to lose the line if we want to but that will be later on but for now we are retaining it so you will notice i'm being very careful with the shadows very very important because if you mess with it at the end of the day your image will start looking different from what you saw originally on the face But let's see what we've done so far. This is the before. This is the after. For the after, for the after. So I think I'll be losing this face line, but it's looking weird to me. But let's go. All right, so this is the before, this is the after. So I feel I need to soften this area out a little. So I'll just pull around it a little bit. 
What I tell you, remove it, but just slide click here. It will do stuff so right then. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to fix some uh, skin blemishes that I'm still seeing over here. So I'll pick up my clone stamp and just quickly paint over some of those skin blemishes. I'm on my high frequency layer. So you remove your blemishes from your high frequency layer. If you want to remove blemishes inside your frequency separation, you do it on your high frequency layer because that is where your texture is. You do it on your low frequency layer, it won't, you won't be seeing any results because all your textures has been separated into your high frequency. Alright, so the next thing I want to take care of now is my dodging and burning. That's the next step we're going to be taking. So I'm going to be collapsing my frequency separation. So this was the image before frequency separation and this is it after frequency separation. So I think I need to touch the lips a little, just slightly. Run my Nitsa brush over it, just a little. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to be loading my dodging and burning. The first one, I'll be loading my dodge, then load up my burn, and as well load my dodge and burn check layer, so I can see exactly where the highlight and the shadows are falling perfectly. So I'll be painting with my brush at three, yeah. So the first thing we are doing is our dodge. We can even, you know, deactivate our frequency separation to see the original lightning and all of that. So this is our highlight. So the black areas are the highlights, the bright areas are the dots, are the balls, which are the shadows. So we'll just need the bright areas brighter, the dark areas darker. So I'll go to my bone, repeat the same process. So this time around, I'm painting it on the bright areas. Because those are the ones that are representing my shadows. Because this is an inverted, inverted uh, check layer. It's an inverted check layer. It doesn't work like the black and white that I will know. So for inverted, the bright places are actually the dark areas because they are inverted. Then the dark areas are actually the bright areas because they are equally inverted. So with that in mind, you know exactly where you need to paint per time. Okay, so I'll turn off my check layer to see what we've done. Okay, so group these two together. The before, the after, the before, the after. So you see our dodge are born perfectly done on the image. So I think I need to reduce it slightly. Yeah. So the next thing I want to quickly do on the image is just to soften out the skin a little. So I'm going to match all of this together. And I'll quickly come down to my soft skin or even the G glam. Let's try the G glam. See how that handles our image. So you see the way it's softening out our skin for us. Even as that smooth look. Sorry, that was too much. But I think this area is too much. We need to reduce here a bit. All right. So overall, this is what we have: the before, the after. Of course, it's too much. We need to bring it down slightly. Eyes nice one. All right. So the before, the after, the before, the after. I think it's still a little bit too high. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to apply just a little touching and burning on the lips. So we we'll come down to the lip glow over here. First of all, do our lips dodge and burn. Paint over the lips just like this. Sorry, pick a color, make sure your brush is low, and just paint over the highlight like this. Do the same thing for the bond, but now you are painting, you are picking the color from dark areas. All right, so I'm going to reduce the group 
this is the before this is after of course we need to bring it down then turn on my lip glow and just quickly paint over the lips to bring out that shines and glamour and once you are done doing that the last thing i'm going to be doing or part of the last thing i'm going to be doing is to click on my auto dodge and burn automatic dodge and burn so that it gives me that extra glows and extra look i want to see in my image so i'm going to press ctrl i because i don't want it in every part of the image i just want it on my face not on the whole body let's this part move this tool together hold my alternate and create a mask just over the image over the face to give us just a little bit of extra contrast so the last thing i'm going to be doing is to apply my done for you retouch action so i'm just going to go into my done for you play my done for you over the image i'll be keeping it all around for press ok all right so our done for you is done this is the before this is the after of course i'm going to bring it down we have to put some around there or after fine after and this is how you retouch my the image my friend so i'm going to create a snapshot to show you what the image was looking like from the onset so this was the image when we came into photoshop and this is the retouch version this is the before this is the after thank you so much for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you subscribe turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we'll drop a new video talking about the action that i told you you are getting for free so all you need to do is just to join our whatsapp community by clicking on the whatsapp link pasted in the description of the video and you will get access to the action thank you one more time for watching see you on the next one